Plant City police are bracing themselves for the first full weekend of the Florida Strawberry Festival. But it's not crime that law enforcement is so worried about. As ABC Action News reporter Sean Daly found out, it's a whole lot of lost people they're concerned about. That happens 20 times a day here. They go crazy, they don't know where they park at. For eight years, Louis Cosme has been parking cars and helping people find their cars on the south side of the Florida Strawberry Festival. The feet hurt and tired, they don't know what to do, sweating. Over here, it's easier to get into the festival grounds on the north side by the main gate and lots. It's also easier to get lost. Once you get inside and you see the tents, the midways, the rides, it's very easy to get turned around. A little funnel cake in there, it kind of gets you all dizzy. It might be, it might be the sugar rush. Plant City police, who often spend hours driving people around, are urging people to remember where they parked. Take a picture of the house, the address. Take a picture of the closest intersection. If you parked on the south side of the festival, do not leave from the north side. Disney World, you know, I'm in goofy parking, row six, uh, spot G. You kind of have to do those same things here in Plant City. Tell me what you're going to remember around here. Strawberries. <laughs> Strawberries, you're going to be totally lost. <laughs> so far, though, south side parkers are still winging it. I found my way here from Iowa. I'm not too concerned. <laughs> if you park on the south side of the Strawberry Festival and you need a nice landmark to remember, it's a pretty good one right there, that nice colorful Ferris wheel. At the very least, I'll get you going in the right direction, guys.